All right, guys, welcome back. Um, today, I want to quickly look at how to add things like um, holes in the wall, which will uh, later put in windows and doors, and um, in this case, the garage door on the front. Um, let's take a quick look at this plan again that we looked at in the previous lessons. And to give you an idea, remember that the black lines were the walls. These were the exterior walls. And these white lines here were the windows, right? Um, so if we go around the property, we'll see there's quite a lot of windows in this. So we've got a window here, window here, window here, one here. There's so many of them actually all the way around. Um, uh, of course, in order to get as much light into this living area as possible, right? Um, but today, all we're going to look at is the front elevation. Uh, we're not going to do the sides. I just want to very quickly show you how to do this and then I'll leave you to complete the rest yourself. Um, but we're just going to fill in this, this window here. We're going to make a hole in the wall for the door right here and also one for the, the garage door as well. Okay, sorry, I had a bit of a, a computer crash there. But anyway, we're all back up again. Um, so let's start off with this window. Uh, and we'll just cut out this front window. I'll show you on the elevation plan. So we're looking at this one here. Um, now, if you remember correctly about the measurements, um, we've got this 21 slash 2050 slash W. Remember the slash W just tells you it's a window. Uh, and this 2050 refers to the width of that window, uh, the width of that window being, being in millimeters, of course. And then we've got this 21, and this 21, if you remember, referred to, to courses. Now, if you go on the internet, you can find this uh, brick coursing chart. I'm sure there's a few on there. I've got this one by, by Borrell. If you just go on their website or you just type in brick coursing chart into Google, you should be able to, to uh, find it. Um, in fact, there's a website right here, right? borrell.com.au. Uh, slash bricks so you should be able to find it there too and let's go and uh, look at these um, these courses first of all so first of all we have this 21 we know that the height is 21 um, let's go down here so there's 21 bricks and the height is the third column uh, sorry the fourth column so it's this one here so it's 1800 millimeters high right so we know that um, we also remember is the width is 2050 we know it's kind of centralized so let's do that first let's first of all put the measurements in for the width um, so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an edge loop first of all all right um, and I'm going to create two edge loops one for each side I'm going to snap one onto the other I'm going to go to the relative transform and I want to go uh, 205 centimeters in Z, okay? I want to make sure that this is pretty central, um, so I'm going to put it about there. I've got a feeling some of these measurements not, might not be absolutely correct. It's got this 49 for the, the column here. It looks like it's a square column, however, we've got no measurement for it here on the front. So I suspect in the actual finish, um, it's actually going to be wider than it is deep, um, as it doesn't seem to quite match. So we'll have to be a, a little bit creative here. Okay, let's now go to the um, elevation plan again. Uh, I, I want to be able to get these measurements just right. So we've got the 25C and we've got this 4C. So let's remember that. Let's do the top one first, the 25C, pull out the uh, chart again. Okay, 25. Uh, the height of 25 is this one here. There's 2143. So let's put that in. Okay, 2143. So uh, this time we're going to go in absolute. Remember, we're going from the zero point here. So it's, it's easier to do it this way. 214.3 uh, to make it into centimeters. And let's do it on the other side too. All right, let's select uh, this in the Y. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to, I can move this out. I want to snap this to the same height as this one. Now, when I select this uh, this Y transform 
uh, point here it means that when I snap it will only snap in that one direction it will only snap in Y if I didn't and I had the whole thing selected it's going to go in a weird direction and I only want it to go up I don't want it to go to the sides so so I'll just select that before I do my snap okay um, the next one we're looking at the 4C which was on the bottom uh, 4C the height for that is this one here uh, 343 or uh, yeah, for, for 343, so let's do that one. Uh, three. And this time it's of course 34.3 centimeters. And the same again, I want to snap this correctly. So, oh, it's already got this selected, so that's good. And then I just need to uh, snap this into position. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so now that looks about right. Um, we're just going to cut out the window. This is pretty easy. Just select it, hit delete. Same on the other side. And I'm left with this gap here uh, that I really need to fill in. And the way I'd fill that in is using something called the append tool. Uh, so let's first of all find that. I actually have a little um, icon for it here where I can select it. But um, if you're looking for it, it's this one here, a pen to polygon. So uh, to poly polygon, I don't know what I said there. All right, so this is in the modeling uh, tab here. Go to the top, and you'll see this uh, edit um, mesh tool. Sorry, not edit mesh, mesh tools, and a pen to polygon. Okay, so click that, and then all you have to do is select the first edge. So it's that one there, and then select this look very big those icons select the second edge which is this one here and it will already add a piece of geometry for you okay now to finish i just hit the select key or the q key um i think also if you hit the enter key or the return key it'll do the same thing all right now i want to do the same again so this time i'm going to go back to my mesh tools append to polygon again and this time select this one and this one okay the same thing now this time I don't want to keep going back here and selecting this each time what I can do is I there's a, a key set up already that will allow you to select the last tool that you use so if you hit the Y key so hit the Y key it will select the append to polygon tool again okay so let's select that okay and the last one Hit the Y key again, select this border, this border, and there we go, we're done. Now, it's almost there. The only thing I'm not quite happy with is if you see it's got this strange marking on here, and the reason for that is that there's a problem with the normals. A uh, way to fix that is just to harden the normal edges, and you'll do that. Again, I have a key set up for it here, um, but you'll find it, let me see here, yeah, okay, so mesh display. And then go down to here normals uh, go to harden edge so click that and you'll see that now it looks uh, a lot better okay okay so now let's try and uh, do this door here which may be a little bit more difficult actually maybe not it looks like i've already marked that in when i was uh, modeling the walls let's just double check this so pull this ah yes I did I've already marked that in so the only thing we need to do of course this was 82 centimeters uh, and the height let me find the elevation and the height uh, goes right up to the 25 so this one is already marked out for us brilliant okay now this here is the zero this will be the zero course right here and of course the ground goes down slightly um, but we don't need to worry about that right now so uh, this one's real simple for us let's just uh, cut this bit out here and here um, we've also got the bottom part and this here okay we've got this um the underneath the walls we've got this uh, extra geometry here we don't need any of that uh, the way to fix that uh, just hit your space bar go into the front view okay I'm going to get rid of the grid here um, okay and then I'm just going to select my faces I'm going to select the bottom row then I'm going to deselect and what I've done is I've just left selected all of these uh, bottom um, uh, faces 
Uh, hit the delete key, you've got rid of them, we don't need them anymore. Okay, um, so there we go, we've got the door cut out. Uh, let me just again use the append to polygon, uh, which I actually have here. All right, so select the top one again. Let's have this one. Remember to use the Y key to reselect the tool each time. So I'm hitting Q to come out and Y to reselect it. All right. There we go. And, ah, that's it. All right. Brilliant. All right. So last one now. We've got the garage door to do. So let's look at the, um, the plans. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so have we already got these marked into position? I think we have. This one we already marked and this one we marked too. So they're already marked. The height is the same. It's the 25 course. So we're good to go with this one too. It, um, it's all looking rather easy. Let me just double check something. I just want to double check the, the width here. So this should be uh, 509 centimeters. Uh, a way to check this is to open something called the component editor, right? And if I hit this here, I can select the edge and I can see that this edge is at 456 um, centimeters from the, um, if I put my grid back on, from this axis point, right? Um, and this one here is 965. Now, if I want to find out if they are correct, I think they are, um, but I'll just get my calculator to do a quick bit of maths. So 965 minus, uh, what was it we had? Okay, 556, so minus, uh, sorry, minus 456 um, and that equals 509 and that is correct here it's 509 centimeters perfect so that's the right measurement so now all I need to do is uh, cut it all out all right so to cut this out let's um, select these two faces here these two faces here all right now let's use I'm going to wait a minute get rid of the grid let's use the append to polygon tool again select the first second hit Q and Y and the next one Q Y next one Q Y gets a little bit repetitive this stuff Q Y Q Y and that's it all right, so let's check everything's correct now. So, yeah, we looked at this front window, the door and the garage door, um, and we've got all them in now. We've got the, the front window, the door, the garage door, they're all measured correctly. Um, perfect. So that will conclude the lesson for today. Uh, next time we'll probably further this project a little more. If you have anything that I've discussed already that you're thinking, well, what the hell happened there? Maybe it was a bit too quick. Maybe it's a bit too slow uh, and you want me to speed up a bit. Just please leave some message in the comments or, or contact me and, and I'll be sure that I, I uh, work on that and, and give you what you need. So please have a great day, guys, and um, be good. All right. Bye bye.